Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show, and it's time for your Leeds versus Rotherham preview. Apologies, I'm away to see my mum today, so there won't be a press conference reaction. Maybe it'll be later on tonight, depending on what gets said. But if it's pretty bland and basic, then we won't really need to get into it. I think, to be honest, like the main thing we're going to hear is about potential injury issues, but all the noise from outside the camp sounds like... It's all good to go. So I think the presser might be pretty bland anyway. So I thought I'd do a preview since I'm out for the rest of the day. Give you something to watch. Uh, and maybe see you Friday. If not, maybe see you tonight. Don't know. YouTube. Things change. Drop the hat. It is what it is. But we're here to talk about Rotherham. And I'm going to say before we get into this video. If Leeds do not win this game, it is embarrassing. If Leeds do not put up good numbers in this game, it is also embarrassing. Forget Yorkshire Derby, forget the 1-1 draw at their place. This is a Rotherham side that have not won away from home for like, I don't know, 400, 500 days. It, <laughs> I said they do not have the capacity to win away from home. So Leeds United need to be putting up numbers and putting them up well. You know when we see a lot of teams and they go, blessed to put four past them, Southampton put four past them. This is the time now in this fixture at home, not so much away from home. I said this, Rotherham is a tough place to go. But when they're away from home, best believe you need to be putting up over 2.5 goals. And if we don't, I'll be frustrated. I mean, if we win 1-0, great, three points. I'll, maybe it's wrong to say I'll be frustrated. But I want to be entertained. Russell Crowe settings. Are you not entertained? But listen, on the other side of this intro, I'm going to tell you the reasons as to why Leeds United should be winning this game and winning it comfortably. Before we get there, please do smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, and of course hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in two. I don't care if it's 1-0, no, if we keep down, 13th in the do championship, the takeover happened, as I said it would, people will be, oh, when, when have we got leads? Right, before we get into Leeds United, I'm going to run through some facts, some figures, some numbers, yeah? And just, if by the end of this paragraph, this monologue, you think there's a chance for Rotherham, and you think I'm being overconfident, then I don't know what, what more else I can do. You know I don't believe in this jinx shit, but yeah, li listen, Leeds have to win this game. First and foremost, no wins away from home all season. Okay, they have four points away from home, four draws. That's the best of the lot. Okay, a team that's unbeaten at home in Leeds United should not be dropping any points against a team who sit foot of the table with a 12 point gap from safety. A team that has only got four points all season from a possible 42, I may add. I mean, away from home, they can't even score goals. They've scored a league low nine away from home they're not even in double digits for goals again coming up against one of if not the best championship defense especially in 2024 i think we've conceded three goals all all year not only did they struggle to score they also concede as well they've conceded 34 scored nine conceded 34 four points out of a possible 42 and a massive 12 points away from safety there's only chef united right and we know how piss poor they've been in the Premier League that have failed to win fewer league matches than Rotherham across England's top four divisions so in terms of wins they're the second worst team in the country behind you know Chef United listen Leeds United continuously always carrying Yorkshire on its back and that's why they all hate us you know my back is hurting man hurting look it doesn't stop there you know, we can go even further. Find minutiae type of details. Away from home, I guess in general in their gameplay, but even more so away from home, they struggle to keep possession, create chances. And this is backed up by the numbers, as they have the lowest average of passes, shots and corners per game away from home. I mean, look, folks, the last time Rotherham won away from home was November 2022. And just by a massive twist of fate, that was against Sheffield United at Bramall Lane as well. <laughs> Since then, they've played 28 away games without one solitary win. It is the longest away losing streak in their history. Now, of course, I hear you, but this is Leeds. Every football club does this. 
But you can't tell me posting up all them numbers, going through all them stats, knowing how piss poor they are, that they come to Ellen Road, right? A team that have yet to taste defeat. There's only us, Liverpool and C. You know, that's the kind of level we're at. Reverend, you know, talking bottom end Premier League, Sheffield United levels. We're talking Liverpool City winning titles kind of levels, home form. You know, this is where, for me, you have every reason and I have every reason as a Leeds United fan to say, we will definitely win this game. Like, if I'm a betting man, I would put my house on it. It's wild, I know, but I would put my house on it. And I expect us to post up numbers as well. We're free scoring, free flowing at home, and we're going up against a team who just do not have the capacity, then I believe that we should be wiping the floor with Rotherham. I'm sorry, Millers fans. I hope you stay up. I like Millers. I like Rotherham. But come on. I don't think even them, even the, the hard and Rotherham fans, expect anything from this game. And nor should they. But we continued our, our great form going into 2024. You know, we, we beat Bristol City away from home in, in the league. We then play Rotherham, second string side, if you like. Some good performances in there. We caught, yeah, it wasn't within 90 minutes. But I think if you play the team that we had at the end of the game, at the start of the game, we win it within 90 minutes. It was, you know, we scored four goals. It breeds more confidence within the squad as well as there was good performances from the likes of Joseph. Gelhart was great from the right. Byron, for me, was my man in the match at right back. Gruyev was exemplary again. Cooper showed he can still do a job. Firpo got through 120 minutes. I'm surprised he's not had to, you know, fucking check in with Rob Price for more parts or he's even still alive to that matter. But Daniel Farker has this squad, this group of players cooking on gas. You know, Dale Atkinson was on my show the other day. He says, we're going unbeaten, but... I don't think we'll do that, but I do expect a long unbeaten run. You know, I said this before, you can check it. Yes, I get a lot wrong, but I do tend to get some things right. A broken clock's right twice a day, right? But I did say I expect Daniel Farker's team to just plod on and then hit a crescendo. Much like his Norwich side, he knows how to navigate this division. So the key thing right now for Leeds United is momentum. We have it in spades, and that's something Rotherham do not have because Rotherham have no wins in six and in each of the last five games at Ellen Road we've beaten them you know scoring 15 goals and conceding only three so the odds are massively in Leeds United's favour talking about momentum as well as I say before we kick off we're literally one point behind Southampton now of course they have a game in hand much like Ipswich who find themselves behind us now but they've got to play West Brom Big up Carlos Corbran. Southampton have to play West Brom soon. Big up Carlos Corbran. Do your boys some good. So in a couple of weeks' time, you know, I could, I could see Leeds, you know, maybe being a point ahead or a point behind, but games being at level. And this is where I come back to that point of, like, points on the board is better than games in hand. As we've seen when Ipswich dropped points away at Preston. See, the meltdown from Leeds United fans. And listen, we lost that to a last minute you know, or a late goal by Liam Miller, a freak goal, if you like, a special goal, you know, and, and everyone says, ah, oh, Leeds, we can't do this, we can't, Ipswich smashed them for, well, they lost as well, you know, people talk about when we got a point against Rotherham in the reverse fixture, and then I think Leicester played them and battered them, I'm like, yeah, but we will do the same thing to them at home as well, and I expect that, you know, Rotherham is a tough place to go away from home, but at home, for Leeds United, where we are impenetrable, I expect us to beat them and beat them well. We are the only team in the Football League to win each of our five games in the league this season. No draws, no losses, just straight wins. And four of them have come with clean sheets. Big up my man Melier. And I expect another clean sheet at the weekend. Keep racking them up, Mez. Keep silencing the doubters. Even when it's not your fault, you get in the grief. But keep doing the business chat that we've won 11 of our last 12 outings at home. The last three games have come to shutouts, to clean sheets. I believe, as a fan, we have every reason to be confident. And best believe, this shit will be clipped up if we did lose. But we won't lose because Rotherham can't win away from home for Toffee. And Leeds are unbelievable at home. 27. 27 away league matches without a win now before we do finish up i do want to talk about some key personnel for rotherham that we may need to watch out for now a dolphin okay hakim a dolphin the defensive midfielder tenacious has scored three goals this season for them 
Their top scorer, by the way, in the league with three. He is matched as well by Jordan Hugel, who is a striker, who also has three goals. We know... Three? Four? I don't know. Um, We know as well, listen, this guy at times has been the type of striker that would shit out and maybe score a goal. Not now. Not with Rodon, not with Ampadu, not with Stroud, not with Cooper, whoever. Do you know what I mean? It's not happening. Of course, he's strong, he's physical, he has a presence up top, has played in the Premier League when he did the old Hammers thing, blowing bubbles, terrible. But yeah, he didn't have a great time there, he'd been at QPR, been at Norwich, and now finds himself at the bottom of the table, Rotherham. And listen, I'm not I'm not concerned about um, Jordan Hugel. The big one is, though, the big one is Victor Johansson. Victor Johansson, a lot of Leeds fans would like him as their keeper long-term to take over to take over Mez. Um, great presence, great shot stopper. Um, people will like love his kicking abilities as well because he goes long. It's not for me. We play our short game, right? Um, but he's played 30 games for Rotherham in the Championship this season, conceding 34 goals and has kept nine clean sheets, which probably the majority of them will uh, have come on home soil. Um, but he's a good keeper. He's played for Sweden. So he's he's one that if he has a good day, then obviously it might be one of them where we only win 1-0 because it's like, oh my God, try as we might, we just can't score. But I just think the game for Leeds United, we have too much quality for this 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 Rotherham side. And I, I think we've seen of recent weeks, we have been able to break down low blocks, pick them open. You know, they are going to be defensive. They are going to be cautious. You know, they, they're like, obviously they're going to try and limit conceding goals and their plan will be to score from a set piece or a counter attack, a bit like Plymouth did. I mean, Plymouth are a better side. I do like Plymouth. I like their recruitment. I like how they're set up. Um, but Plymouth scored from a sucker punch, one shot in the second half. They equalise. If we allow our finishing to let us down, that could happen. I don't think it will because I just think the chances will be a plenty for Leeds United. And with you know, for me, I think it'll be unchanged from the last league game. Um, I think he'll still keep. Gray at right back, it'll be Rodon, it'll be Ampadu, it'll be Firpo, maybe Byram, just because of Firpo's uh, long 120 minute game, he, yeah, he'll be like, what is this? Um, I think in midfield you have Kamara and Griev, who were great the other night, I think Nonto keeps his place on the right, regardless of what's going on with James, because Nonto's got two and two, got to keep that momentum, and if we're being honest, like long term, player quality, Nonto is a better player than James. James may be a better fit, but if Nonto's scoring, you don't drop him for me. Um, I think that fluidity that that free behind Bamford can give us with James Rutter and Somerville is the future if we were to get promoted. Listen, if James starts, that's fine. I just don't think he'll throw him straight back in. And that's a good thing as well, because that means the squad and Farker trusts it, you know, that, that everyone's on form. We're building up to crescendo. We're cooking like a chilli, as my good friend Evie would say. Or we're on a marathon run, as my good friend Jonathan Brock would say. So, yeah, that, that'll that be the free behind Bamford. Um, I think it'll be unchanged. Of course, that could change if, indeed, the presser... Farker alludes to there being injuries, um, especially after we played 120 minutes. They could be Knox, but I'm hopeful that there isn't. I don't think he's overly worried having listened to his post-match presser. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Listen, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to be brash, as I have through this video. Say Leeds United win this game 4-0. I'm expecting four goals from Leeds United. Goal scorers all over the pitch. Someone's going to get a, a, a you know a blamming, and I hope I hope that blamming... Well, I don't hope it's Rotherham, because I like Rotherham. I do. I love you, Matt, if you've watched this, by the way, from New York Talk. But, um, yeah, someone's going to get it and it could be Rotherham. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell because, you know, sometimes Wayman just goes live at the drop of a hat. But thanks as always for supporting the channel. We're on the road to 27K. Subscribe if you can. Um, and maybe see you tonight if not i'll see you friday at some point and then obviously it's game day on saturday and i will be doing the early kickoff ipswich west brom which will then be followed of course by leeds united versus rotherham anyway enough from me peace out leeds leeds leeds